Bonjour, Guten Tag, Hola, Ciao, Good Day, Hello and welcome to Ellie Smiles. Today I'm going to be celebrating International Fragrance Day, the 21st of March. Hi everyone and welcome to Ellie Smiles on International Fragrance Day. I've been deliberating a lot about what it is I'm going to review today and I've decided that I'm going to let you find out a little bit more about me so I've picked my top five go-to fragrances for just something that I maybe spray on more regularly than most of my fragrances so in at number five is the Fleur Musk from Narciso Rodriguez this one was a bit of a surprise to me when I first sprayed it I was absolutely overjoyed with it once I tried it on my skin so this particular fragrance is quite floral, it contains peony and rose in the top notes but in the for her range from Narciso Rodriguez he uses Egyptian musk because this was an essence that was gifted to him by his sisters and he tends to pop that into all of his fragrances so this has a heart note of Egyptian musk so you get that lovely clean florals of the rose and the peony and the warmth from spices and amber and Egyptian musk and on the skin this smells phenomenal. I get so many compliments on this one and customers that have smelt this on me actually have bought it purely that once they've tried it as well they've fallen in love with it. So I do get compliments but genuinely I do not just wear fragrances because of the compliments. I'm a big believer that if you love the way that the fragrance smells on you and it makes you feel good then wear it. So I know that Narciso Rodriguez fragrances are not available everywhere but if you do get the opportunity go and try it on the skin. See what you think to it. I think this is a really good fragrance for summer days. I tend to wear it um, all year round really because that Egyptian musk just gives it a warmth so if even in winter if I'm just feeling in the mood to wear something fresh and floral this is my go-to fragrance so this is the Narciso Rodriguez Fleur Musk and then at number four is Magriff by Carven and anybody that knows me knows that I absolutely adore history of fragrance and vintage unfortunately this is not a vintage bottle this one was created in 2013 but the original Margrief was created in 1946 by Jean Carlos and it was very sad actually because for a perfumer and a nose he'd actually lost his sense of smell so he wasn't able to smell any of the essences when he created this and the House of Carvin itself was started by Marie Louise Carvin. She was renowned for creating um, couturier items for very petite ladies. And she was the first lady to actually start Pret-a-Port and also the first lady to um, patent the push-up bra. So this fragrance is very clean. It has aldehydes. Um, floral heart notes again seems to be a bit of a thread for me that I really seem to like really green fresh fragrances but this one is delicious you do get sort of like exotic nuances it's warm it has got a heady base I can smell the lily of the valley that's in there and also the aldehydes which give it a real sparkling note so I'm going to spray this because I'm going to be wearing my griff today and also my griff actually stands for my claw so this is another go-to fragrance for me I absolutely adore the bottle as well so I just love everything about this so that's at number four which is my grief by Carvan and then at number three is the honor by Amouage so this is a relatively recent find for me I just love the bottles the bottles are based on the Rui Palace and these are created in the Oman the Sultan of Oman wanted to use essences that reflected the Omani culture so this has the um, Omani rose in here um, this one is white floral flowers in the heart note and the inspiration for this particular fragrance was the tragic story of Madame Butterfly um, so the white bouquet flowers 
uh, represents unrequited love. So when I spray this, again, it's got that real clean quality to it, but you just have the most fragrant jasmine in here. It's just delicious. And whenever I wear this, everybody says to me, what are you wearing? It's just divine. And I think that's because the homage fragrances are very unique. Um, these are 40% essences, so they're stronger than other Eau de Parfums. They're also oil-based, so these last on the skin longer. So a few sprays of this are literally going to last you all day. I tend to layer it with the shower gel and the body lotion and it just is lovely. It just gives you this really lovely, warm, floral, very fresh fragrance. So these are a considered purchase. Again, you're not going to see the Amouage fragrances everywhere. This one was probably a really good fragrance to start with out of all of the Amouage because some of the other ladies' fragrances tend to be quite heavy, but I think that's some of the Omani essences. So if you do get the opportunity, please go and try, let me know what you think. But this is another favourite. I probably tend to wear this one more in the evenings rather than during the day. So that's the Honour from Amouage. And then on to number two which for me is the Chanel Chance Eau Fresh. So this one for me is something that I can just spray on every day that makes me feel energised, that reminds me of that lovely clean linen when it's hung out on the washing line just blowing in the wind. And that's the feeling that I get with this one. So the all of the Chance range from Chanel contain cedar and iris. The Eau Fresh itself has more citric, um, clean, fresh top notes. So chance in French means luck, like bonne chance, good luck. So the inspiration for the bottle itself is the roulette wheel. The topper or the stopper is like the dice. So it's like you roll the dice, you take your chance. So as soon as I spray this, it's just really citricky, clean, lovely, and then you get the cedar coming through and the iris. This particular one stays on my skin a lot better than the original Eau de Parfum, although I do wear both, but I do tend to spray this liberally throughout the summer. It's just got that really feel-good, really crispness to it, especially on a hot summer's day. So let me know what you think if you've tried the um, Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. Um, or if you prefer the Eau de Parfum, but um, please go try it. I think it's well worth it, especially with summertime coming up. So that's number two, which is the Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. And now for that coveted number one spot. Bum, 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 which for me is another creation from Chanel. And this is the Chanel Coco Noir. This one here is actually the Parfum. And the Coco Noir is a combination of both the cocoa, the original cocoa, which had got the spices and the woods, warm and inviting, and also the Mademoiselle, which has the bergamot and the orange blossom, and together combined, they are the Coco Noir. So this one for me is just delicious, quite different to the others, warmer, definitely warmer, and this is like a hug in a bottle. So. I would probably wear this more in sort of like cooler weather when I just feel like I need that hug or maybe to feel comforting if I'm not feeling sort of like particularly on top of the world. It's like wearing a lovely warm blanket, having a cup of hot chocolate or your favourite tipple, watching an old film and having some chocolates and I love to do all of that. So this is what I would say is sort of like my go-to sort of like comforting fragrance. Again, get lots of compliments on this. Most of the cocoa uh, range contain pheromones, so men especially find this very attractive. So ladies, if you want to look for that man, try wearing some of this. So they're my like go-to fragrances that I know that I will wear more often, maybe more every day than some of my other ones. So let me know what yours are. Tell me what you'll be wearing this fragrance day, um, maybe what your top five go-to fragrances are. 
Um, I'd love to see your comments and sort of like maybe compare what we all wear and how we all are different. And don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos and press that bell. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you all smell fabulous and I look forward to seeing you all again on Ellie Smell shortly. So bye for now. Take care.